I'm Teresa Gaudines Martinez. Uh, I have uh, two children here who studied in Caritas Don Bosco School. Uh, actually, um, uh, when I was young, uh, the, the Don Bosco School in Makati uh, had a very positive, uh, made a very good impression on me actually. So I was thinking uh, that if I had children of my own, uh, and uh, I would have the chance to have them study at Don Bosco. I will do that. But, uh, but for some reason, uh, I found myself living, my husband and I live in the south. No, We originally were from Alabang. Uh, so I don't think there's any Don Bosco school there. So my, my son originally had... Uh, his uh, preschool studies in another school. And then by some, uh, another twist of fate, we found ourselves transferring here at Binyan. And while we were looking for a house, one of the major considerations that we had was to look for a good school for our children. And we were very happy when we saw Caritas Don Bosco School while we were trying to find uh, our uh, new home. So it can be said that we found Don Bosco even before we found our home uh, at uh, San Jose Village. So um, upon uh, the next school year, um, I enrolled my son at grade 1. So he, he, he studied here from grade 1 to 12. And uh, you know, uh, one of the reasons why we allowed them to study uh, here at the Bosco for so many years. Um, aside from the proximity to our uh, our home, it is the um, we were seeing the positive um, character development uh, in our children. And for my husband and myself, that is one of the most important things that we would like. To find in uh, the school that would take care of our children while we are not there. It was much better when uh, Don Bosco or Caritas Don Bosco came up with the so rice. Uh, you know, um, that so rice, uh, we applied that to ourselves, my husband and I, uh, especially the S, no? it's a self sacrifice. Uh, whenever we find it very difficult, to, to do our parent, uh, parenting uh, task and job, we would always remember the motto of the school, which is, I love, therefore I serve. And then we would be uh, replenishing that hope and determination to do better in our parenting. And um, after about two years, when we enrolled our, uh, our son, Pio, uh, we also enrolled our youngest, uh, Ada, uh, so she started uh, her uh, nursery, so her schooling in the school. So she knows of no other school aside from Caritas Don Bosco School from nursery to grade 12. And um, I think uh, um, I have nothing to regret uh, in allowing them to stay here. Uh, for so many years, uh, actually, there is some kind of regret I'm feeling right now, now that we are leaving, because I don't have any children here at Don Bosco anymore. But of course, I'm hoping that since we're still part of the community, uh, we can still extend our assistance, our help in whatever way that we can. Thank you so much. Caritas Don Bosco School.
Uh, hello, I'm Ruben Pio Martinez. Um, I belong to the batch, the Jubilee batch. Uh, I graduated in 2019, and as my mother said, I've been with Caritas and Bosco School for 12 years, starting in 2007, when I enrolled here in my first grade years. So, um, among, there's a lot to uh, remember or look back on when my lengthy stay here in Caritas and Bosco School. But um, to highlight a few of my fondest memories here in school, um, there's of course the times when I served as the editor-in-chief for our student publication Echoes, uh, the first in my 10th grade and second in grade 12. And of course, I could never forget the many friends that I have made along the way here. Um, starting around grade three, we kept this bond alive and we mostly spend our time uh, talking, catching up with each other in the covered area in the senior high school, and of course going to everybody's favorite place, the uh, LRC, to read our late, our favorite book series, Hieronymus Stilton. And, you know, to this day, even though we are no longer studying in the same school, we are still keeping, in, we are still keeping tabs on each other. We catch up whenever we can. So, yeah. One of the best things that came out of this school is definitely the friends that I made along the way. And regards to the values that uh, I was able to apply outside of school, I would like to ha highlight the following. Uh, the first is integrity, uh, especially now when it's easy to just join the bandwagon or simply follow along what is considered popular. I think one of the best things that I picked up here in Caritas and Bosco School is the need or the responsibility to do what is right, even though people are saying, it, saying it's, the, it's the wrong thing to do, or rather doing what is right, even though nobody else is watching, nobody's giving you the credit. And I think that's something that must be held dearly, especially now. And I even now here in college, I think uh, staying true to that specific principle made me more in line with the next two that I will mention, which is uh, being able to empathize with other people, not just beyond, not just people of the same age as me, not just the people of the same demographics as me, same sex, same religion, same cultural background. In a way, it made, me, made it a little bit easier for me to get a sense of where people are coming from, why they are what they are right now, and at least be this type of friend that they can count on, that they can easily uh, rely on for just understanding. And the last, the last principle that I'd like to highlight is excellence which is, of course, also part of the SORIS. Excellence in a sense that um, as a student of the humanities and social studies strand, um, it's pretty easy. It was very frequent for a lot of people to say that humanities is the easiest strand to take simply because there's just reading, there's just writing, and etc., etc. Then there's also this stereotype that the only a uh, viable career path there is to be a lawyer or to be a psychologist even. Um, I would like to bring up excellence because uh, it's because of my time in the humanities strand. Uh, it helped me gain a deeper appreciation for uh, the arts, uh, the humanities specifically, and it made me ponder on the importance of humanities specifically in our world today. Uh, it's because of my two years stay in specifically in the senior high school area that helped me understand that without the arts, without the social sciences, uh, there is no creativity, there is no inspiration to balance up the more technical aspects of the harder sciences such as uh, engineering, medicine, etc, etc. So those are the three main principles that I was able to pick up here from Caritas of Bosco School. So I guess that's all for me. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Caritas del Bosco School. Hi, my name is Ada Teresi Martinez. And I just recently graduated um, in April 12, 2023, together with Batch Telag High.
The fondest memory that I had experienced here in Caritas and Boston School was when uh, Sir KB, our assistant principal, announced in the Tech Support GC that um, me and other fellow uh, classmates will be joining the loyalty trip to Japan. That will, uh, by the time of this recording, that we'll be going to Japan tomorrow. When I first read the message, I got really like, shocked. So I didn't really expect that the trip will, um, will happen again due to the uh, pandemic that we had uh, in the recent years as well. And uh, when I first uh, told the news to my family, they were also pretty shocked and excited as well as, <laughs> as this will be um, the first time in our family that will be going out of the country. So yeah, it's, it's really exciting. And along with the announcement of the Japan trip, together with my friends, um, I would also like to say that uh, even when um, the pandemic uh, struck, struck us, um, we were we went to online classes. We started to take online classes in grade 10 to grade 12. But in grade 12, we also decided again to have face-to-face -face classes. Due to the face-to-face -face classes, I got to know my classmates more who had just transferred in grade 11. And by that, I gained a lot of new friends with uh, new students and other students from other sections as well, my batchmates. And that just made my um, my end in Caritas and Bosco a lot more memorable. As before, I got you know I graduated. I got to know a lot more people. Mas naging understanding po ako hanggang po parang nakakaroon po ako na ibang realization dahil nga po madami na po ako na kukuwang perspective gani po sa ibang tao. For the values that I have learned here in Caritas and Bosco School, I would like to say that I learned simplicity and still practice it every day. Because um, in simplicity, you you can realize, you realize that uh, material things aren't as important as the things that, or the people around you, not really things, but people like your family, your friends, other relatives, your classmates, and Yes, other people are just are enough more than yes the material things that such as um, expensive items like phones, gadgets, or kung ano po meron. And also respect. Respect is um something we should um we should learn about or more pra or practice it more often. We should just respect more people as. You know, we should, people should be free to um, really express themselves, um, to show what they truly want, for example. And we shouldn't really um, be, we shouldn't really judge them. So I learned that here in Caritas and Bosco School, and I still, of course, still apply it uh, through my everyday life. And um, I would like to thank. Caritas and Bosco School for the um, numerous opportunities I had uh, for the pretty very long time that I had saved here from uh, nursery to my like, grade 12. And I would like, yes, I would like to thank you to the um, uh, learnings that I have, I have learned here as um, my time as a Caritas as a Caritas Bosconian here will end, but the values, the learnings, and the other realizations that I got here in my time will, um, will forever stay with me here. And thank you. <laughs> thank you very much.